Captain Bob San Angelo from Kankakee River Valley Guide Service. We're out uh, scouting for some carp uh, today. We're going to try to target some uh, carp by sight fishing. Uh, we're faced with uh, severe low water conditions. Uh, might help us with the fish, but they're not coming in like they normally would. So we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. This is where your saltwater experience comes in. Uh, it's called nervous water and uh, you can usually see the signs. This is a good example of what you would refer to as nervous water right here. And it, it's actually wind blowing water over rocks and uh, the edge of this island but you get that similar effect when fish are actually feeding or under the surface of the water. It gives it that vibrating uh, effect and that's what we refer to as nervous water. Okay for you uh, fly fishermen the best advice I can give you and any saltwater uh, fly fisherman uh, will tell you this is uh, you need to be using a strip strike technique to set your hook. I don't care if you're in fresh water or salt water it doesn't matter but that technique is is that let's say you're stripping the fly you're stripping the fly and then you get a hook up the first thing you should do is pull your line straight back and then and as that fish swims away from you it tensions up and you're still continuing to pull that line and you're setting 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 and then you raise your rod that's it there's no other setting your hook technique as far as I'm concerned. Um, I guarantee you that you'll you'll be able to actually feel the hook bury into the fish. You'll know how solid it was and uh, it'll be a firm deep hook set and I'll bet you your catch ratio will go up considerably uh, and you won't lose as many fish and that I use every day fresh or salt water. Sorry, bump. I must have bumped my camera. Big boy, big boy. Probably, I'd say, oh, maybe 10 pounds, 12 maybe. Freedom, my friend, freedom. Big fish. Another thing when you're setting up on these carp, you don't need a lot of line. Uh, anticipate what you're casting, uh, and you're not really casting your uh, roll casting. How much line you need to let out, and then give yourself three feet uh, below your reel. Watch for fish that are uh, swimming up in your uh, zone, and then just roll cast your. Drop that right in front of him. Come on, take it, take it. Take it. Hopefully I got that on film. 
You don't know what's going on yet. That's a decent fish though. That's a bull moose, man. That's what I was afraid of. I was afraid he was gonna mug me. There you go. I'll tell you what, carp fishing takes a tremendous amount of patience. It'll test you to the limit. But, but there's a lot of activity going on to keep your interest. But uh, I think if the water conditions weren't so dirty, uh, I'd have hookups. Every couple of minutes, I'd have hookups. I know I've been out here, I, I've had 25 fish days. So the expectation is you're going to catch a lot of fish, but it's going to take a lot of patience to do it. So. Stay tuned. <laughs> Would have never found that fish without a strike indicator. Never. This fish has no clue what's going on. <laughs> Well, if he wasn't freaked out now, he, he's going to be. There we go. Well, well, decent fish anyway. I don't think he knows he's hooked yet. him right away. Off she goes. That's enough for today. Two hours, got about 11 fish. Love that sound. <laughs>